It's literally for 24 hours. It started at 3 o'clock on Saturday afternoon and goes straight through for 24 hours to 3 o'clock on Sunday afternoon. We are at Art All Night Trenton 2012, which is a 24-hour uh, pop-up art gallery in a 50,000 square foot space, which is part of the old uh, Roebling complex that built the original uh, wire rope that built the original suspension bridges, such as the San Francisco Bridge, the Brooklyn Bridge, and, and places like that. So we're standing in a 50,000 square foot space full of uh, Trenton history. Uh, this is in our sixth year now. Uh, we're anticipating anywhere between 15,000 and 18,000 people from all the surrounding areas, including Philadelphia, New York, all of Bucks County, uh, all around the state of New Jersey. We have over 900 pieces of art on display here tonight, uh, over 30 bands going, a world food court, an incredible um, iron pour that's going on outside. Uh, we take any genre of art, be it sculpture, photography, uh, painting, any type, and also any level of art. I mean, if a young kid wants to draw a picture on a piece of uh, paper or on a paper plate, we'll hang it, and we'll also hang it right next to a top professional's piece, so it's, which is really great. We like to show people that you can come into the city of Trenton and that you can be safe, you can have a good time. Uh, we all know that Trenton has a bit of a stigma attached to it as a dangerous place. And uh, you know, we're very proud to say that in the six years that we've been here, uh, we've never once had an issue. It's important for the city, it really is. We really feel it's become an event that people look forward to annually. Um, they, plan their, they plan their summers around the fact that we do this the third weekend in June every year. And that's the truth, I mean, it, it's, it's absolutely true. People always ask me, do you really have people coming through at all hours of the night. And I never forget, it was about two years ago, I happened to be strolling the floor at about four o'clock in the morning, and there was an elderly couple in their 80s, uh, holding hands, walking through, and I, it just took me by surprise. So I walked up to them and I asked them, you know, what brought them out at this time of night? And they said they were sitting home, they happened to wake up and said, you know what, let's take a run over. We worked for nine months out of the year to make this event happen, and uh, it, it goes without saying that it comes off incredibly and you know we're all volunteers and we all do it because it, it, it betters the community and uh, it brings people together and it's, it's purely positive. People come out of their boxes you know and, and that only art can really do that and for Trenton to do that is just a beautiful thing. We feel that the arts help rebuild communities. We kind of look at it as the new urban renewal. And uh, we're hoping through this event that we can kind of uh, jumpstart that, you know, and, and kind of bring the, the city of Trenton back to its former glory.